Now to the work to build a better Bay Area. Public safety was one of the top issues discussed by city leaders this afternoon in San Francisco. From the drug overdose crisis to armed security guards and gun violence. ABC 7 News reporter Tara Campbell has been listening to the meeting throughout the afternoon. She joins us live in the newsroom with her takeaways. Uh, Tara, what stood out to you? Yeah, Julian, while traffic safety was among the many concerns this afternoon, a recent report showing citations dropping drastically over the past several years. This as the number of pedestrians being killed is on the rise, and today supervisors wanted answers. San Francisco supervisors want answers from the police. Traffic citations plummeting and pedestrian fatalities on the rise. Educational the Public Safety Committee taking up the issue Thursday, led by Supervisor Rafael Mandelman. The supervisor sending a letter of inquiry to the police department after it reported a 97% drop in traffic citations in eight years. I would like for us to get closer to a plan to actually have more traffic enforcement. The police department pointing to its staffing shortage as a key part of the problem. Because we have less people overall in the department, those resources at the traffic company are being pulled in different directions. Police also pointing to policy upping the amount of paperwork that comes along with a citation. Also warning, the citation count doesn't tell the whole story. There is this you know, pool of stops that are happening that aren't resulting in citations, but they are in fact traffic stops and an effort for educational enforcement to change people's behavior, make the streets safer. The supervisor um, making a push for a plan. I think uh, in the first quarter of next year, we should definitely have our feet underneath us and be able to have assessed the situation enough to put measures into place in the form of a plan. And the drug overdose crisis dominated a good part of today's meeting. District Attorney Brooke Jenkins making an appearance calling out the courts, saying of the more than 200 motions to detain drug dealers, only a fraction have been held in custody. We've only had 19 of those motions granted to date, which means uh, we still have most of these drug dealers back out on the street selling the same poison. We have to, as a city, make that a focus that just like we wouldn't allow someone who shoots a gun to cycle back out onto the street immediately, we cannot allow those who are selling death to do so either. Now the DA also doubled down on investigating overdose deaths, saying her office is ready to charge drug dealers with murder. Julian and Karina. That would certainly be a big change. Tara Campbell, Live Force in the newsroom, thank you so much. And we want you to be able to get the true picture of public safety in your area. Our ABC 7 News neighborhood safety tracker shows you a wide range of statistics for San Francisco, Oakland, and San Jose. You'll find that on our website, abc7news.com.